what's next for audio animals? See, I could answer this question once a month um, quite easily because there's there's always something that's that's coming next, and um, there's a big development that we're we've got um, in place at the moment, uh, which is we're currently in the process of specking and building a new mastering studio, and it's going to be a ridiculous mastering studio a lot like a lot like this room it's going to be a similar size to this room um we got what we're going to do is we're going to fit it with stereo um speakers and um there's a there's a massive amount of of interest and clients who are ordering dolby atmos and it's it's a massive thing at the moment um so much so that we are going to we're basically going to fit this mastering studio as um, stereo to start off with um, and then we're going to adapt that um, so we're going to build it with the with the thought process in mind that it's going to be built for Dolby Atmos as well so and basically as and when the the Dolby Atmos work gets too much in this room we'll then have for instance the Dolby Atmos mixing being in here and then Dolby Atmos mastering being in the mastering room so we'll also have it'll be a stereo mastering room and it will be Dolby Atmos but we'll we're going to incorporate the Dolby Atmos aspect of it at, at a slightly later date just because we currently have this room um, pretty much fully booked with Dolby Atmos and as that gets too much we'll spill it into that room as well um, so the big development in the company um, between now and the end of the year is that we have this new mastering studio that's going to be built and um, it's going to be it's it's going to be state of the art. It really is. I've got some really good designs for it. Um, and like I say, it's going to look a lot like this room, but without um, the PMC CI series. We're going to go over different um different speaker type and um yeah it's going to be really interesting but we're basically going to have um stereo speakers uh we're going to put an avid s1 in we were going to maybe put an avid s4 in but then we thought you know they're quite big and with an analog mastering studio we're going to want all of our analog gear around us last thing we want is a big avid s4 in the center console um so we might not go down the avid s4 route we might just get an avid s1 which is a lot smaller and we can have that more as a, a built into the desk or as a desktop thing um and then we're going to have um a desk with with all of our mastering equipment that we have in our mastering room at the moment um then uh what else are we putting in there i don't think there's anything really that's going in um in that room that's that's uh, going to be new in terms of equipment it's more going to be about new speakers new room we're going to put a trin of in there and it's going to be just this this perfect mastering room um so that's going to be built between now and uh, the end of the year i reckon it's going to be in that in that period of time um we're just basically waiting on equipment and also um the, the, the problem we've got is when it comes to building a studio we like to custom build everything so like this studio me and nick we built this studio uh, from the ground up to the perfect specifications <coughs> And uh, we want to do that again with the mastering studio. The the issue you have there is that we can't allocate ten hours a day, eight hours a day to build in a studio. So it's a slow process that um, we'll get maybe a couple of hours here, a couple of hours there. We'll get a, a full day on a Saturday. We'll we'll work on a Sunday as well, and we'll get you know a couple of days done building there so the build process is a lot slower than if we were to bring someone in but you're talking a build of 10 grand in comparison to a build of 40 50 60 grand for a room so there's a big saving when you're building itself but you've got to have the ability to build yourself and um thankfully we are very good at building studios so um that's what's that's what's coming uh there's a few other things that are coming in um with the whole audio animals brand uh and not necessarily 
the audio animal side of things, it's, it, there's other things as well. Um, obviously, can't can't talk about those. But um, yeah, there's 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 developments and things coming. Um, but yeah, the main one that's happening in the Audio Animals um, studios is we've got a new studio that we're currently in the process of building and specking out. We've got Dow coming down from SX Pro. What is it? Sometime next week, and he's gonna basically we, what we're doing is we're going through all the speaker fi configurations and having uh, getting the speakers on order so that they're here ready to go um ready for basically when the holes are built speakers can go in and getting all the, the measurements right uh because they're going to be wall mounted like these ones so they're going to slot directly in um i won't tell you what speakers we're getting and i won't tell you what um what we're, we're kind of doing um that we will um we will show you when we do the uh the finished pictures and whatnot of the mastering studio but it's going to be it's going to be really special and we're looking forward to building this one